Angular material checkboxes and radio buttons behave exactly the same as native checkboxes and radio buttons. The only difference is the styling and animations that are part of the material library. Let's begin with checkboxes. The first step is to import the module. So in material.module.ts, import mat checkbox module and add it to the material array. Now we can add a material checkbox in the HTML. The component for a checkbox is mat checkbox. And the content between the tags is treated as the checkbox label. If we save this and take a look at the browser, you can see that we have a checkbox which behaves exactly like a regular checkbox, but this time we have the addition of styling and animation. By default, the label is positioned to the right of the checkbox, but we can position it to the left using the label position attribute. So back in the HTML, I'm going to duplicate this and set label position is equal to before. I'm also going to add a break tag. Now save this and take a look at the browser. And you can see that the label is on the left hand side. Also, if you can notice by default, the theme or color of the checkbox is the accent color. You can change it to primary or warm using the color attribute. So I'm going to create two more checkboxes. On the first one, I'm going to set color is equal to primary. And on the second one, color is equal to warm. Now back in the browser, you can see that the first two checkboxes have an accent theme. The third checkbox has a primary theme and the last checkbox has a warm theme. And that is all there is to customize the checkbox in Angular Material. Native checkbox with styling and animations. Now let's take a look at Angular Material radio buttons. Again, they're basically native radio buttons with material styling and animations. As always, the first step is to import the module. So in material.module.ts, we're going to import mat radio module and also add it to the material array. Now we can add radio buttons in the HTML. There are two main components that we deal with, radio group and radio button. Radio buttons are usually placed inside the radio group component. So start off with mat radio group. And within the radio group, we add the radio buttons. Mat radio button. I'm going to make two more copies of this. The first one value is going to be angular. Label is angular. Second one is react. And finally, view. Now, if we save this and take a look at the browser, you can see the three radio buttons, Angular, React, and View. Again, by default, the color of the radio button is set to accent color of the theme. You can change it using the color attribute. For the first radio button, I'm going to add color is equal to primary. And for the third button, color is equal to warm. Now, if we take a look at the browser, the first one has a primary color, the second one by default has an accent color, and the third one has the warm color. Alright, that is pretty much about radio buttons in Angular Material. Now, if you want to access the value of either the checkbox or the radio buttons, you can do it with two-way binding. Make sure to import the forms module and use the banana in a box syntax for two-way binding. For a detailed explanation, please go through the Angular Forms tutorial on my channel. You will find everything there is to know about form controls in that series. In the next video, let's discuss about the date picker in Angular Material. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.